Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to take you through how to create an invoice app using Django and Python. By the end of this video, you'll have such kind of an application where you can see the list of all the invoices that you've created and you can add a new invoice or you can type in the name of the customer, their mobile phone number, their email and their address. Then type in the name of the items that you're selling to that customer. Then you can put in the quantity, the VAT, the unit and the VAT rate and then you, once you submit it will add the totals here and the same thing you can add um, other item maybe a phone charger you add the description then you add the quantity, the unit price and the VAT and then you submit and then it's totals and once you're done you can be able to download a pdf and once you download a pdf you'll search kind of have an invoice that you can share with your customers okay let me take you through the code so uh, in my code <coughs> i've created the app uh, called invoice inside the invoice app and the invoice i have i'll take you through the model and at the model i have the organization the organization is the model that holds the name of the organization, the mobile phone number, the email, uh, the address, and the logo. And it's the one that you can see the details here at the top. So you can see the logo, the name, the phone number, the email, etc. And the address. And here, uh, under this one, I return the logo, the path of the logo. Then at the same time, I've formatted the data. Uh, that is the name the mobile phone number and the email plus the address which I display here such that I have the log on this side and that data on that side then uh, then you have the model uh, called invoice so this model called invoice is one that are holding the details of the invoice that the name of the client the mobile phone number the email the address the date the due date then here you have the uh, the, the amount the VAT total the status for example the status can vary it can change from paid and maybe pending maybe overdue depending then the currency the term uh, the paid amount and the remaining amount this is the balance so once this amount is paid it's the difference between the remaining amount is the difference between total minus the paid amount and here we can use the term to determine the due date so you can see here I'm, I'm, I'm converting first of all the term then first then I add the term to the to the date to get the due date okay then they have another model called here sales item uh, this is the model uh, that holds the items that has been added into an invoice so you have the invoice number which is a foreign key then here you have an item description of the item the quantity unit price uh, price VAT rate VAT then total date and the currency and here you have a formula that updates the totals so price is equal to quantity times the unit price while VAT is uh, 16 or whatever percentage that you've added that is the price times that price that times that rate divided by 100 then from there we have the total which is the price plus the VAT okay then here we have a signal is the one that calculates the total and update though that total or the amount once you add an item here you add an item to the invoice you can see the system aggregates the price the VAT then it calculates the total price then updates the amount on the invoice model so here when you create an invoice let's say for example I create a new invoice then I add in the, the email of the customer then the address of the customer I submit so if I add like mobile phone then add quantity let's say 12 then unit price then VAT so when I submit you can see here the prices are zero zero because there are no items so when I submit the prices are updated here if I add another item let's say it's a charger a phone charger yeah as a description phone charger then I add the quantity here maybe 12 then 12 then VAT when I submit automatically the price here is increased based on the item that I've added so this signal here 
is the, is the one that is used every time once the an item is saved in this model automatically uh, the system will calculate uh, the, the aggregate of the total plus VAT then it calculates the total and then updates on the invoice model so we go to the view so on views you can see we have invoice list this is the first view that lists all the invoices and you can filter from that list using date also the invoice number and the client name and you can see here for the invoice it, it contains meaning an id then you can filter here with the date and also you can filter with the client name okay and that in uh, uh, details is, is is returned to the invoice list and it returns to this uh, uh, HTML file that uh, list all the in the, the list the invoice okay and you can see it here then we have the next view which is uh, create invoice so is this the view that takes in the details that you're going to enter for that specific invoice for example the name the mobile phone number the email and the address and that information is created it's added to the invoice model and then we redirect back uh, to add info i uh, add item uh, add item invoice uh, view which is this view that uh, when you're adding the item like the item name the description the quantity the unit price and vat and you can see uh, you create that record of a sales item then it returns you back to the same view so that you can be able to add uh, more items then we have another view here where you can now be able to export what you've created as an invoice into pdf and you can see here uh, we get the invoice id then we list all the sales that are under that specific invoice then we get the details of the organization then we use those details and return this html and you can see the format here so the format of the invoice you can format it the way you want or the way you like it to look like so in this case it's just the, the way i've added it uh, then it returns the pdf and i've also added other two views one is detail view to view the details of the invoice and the other one is to update the payment of the invoice once the customer pays and you can see it here once you come here and you click on the invoice number you'll be able to see the details of the invoice and once you click on pdf it will show you it will it will download a pdf file like this one thank you